Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, today we've got a Dell computer right here, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix a bunch of different errors, and they're all kind of the same thing uh, on this video. Uh, you could have a, a, a bad checksum error, a CMOS checksum error, uh, RTC low battery error, a set date and time error. Sometimes you also see this obscure uh, 0251 error. But all these errors are basically the same thing, uh, the same fix. Um, basically your CMOS battery, a BIOS issue. So I'm going to show you how to get in there and fix that. If you have any questions during this process, leave a comment below in, in the description. Uh, I get back to you a couple times a day at least. And I'll also try to update the frequently asked questions. If I see a question being asked a, a few times, I'll, I'll put those in the description as well. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to shut down my computer. Because we're going to access BIOS and we, and we need to do that on startup. So uh, wait till your computer shuts off a little bit. I'll zoom into the screen here a little bit. I'm going to hit power. Start tapping on F2. If my computer wants to start now, there we go. I'll uh, start tapping on F2, that'll get us into BIOS. So the thing that's causing this error that you're getting, uh, BIOS has either been updated to factory settings somehow. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. So BIOS has either been um, reset to factory settings uh, your CMOS battery could have died, a BIOS update was processed, uh, perhaps it failed, uh, or some other weird sudden power loss that affected BIOS. Uh, so what you're going to want to do here is to check if it's been reset right up here in the corner, date and time. Yours may be in a different location, an older computer you may have uh, tabs along the top. Um, so yours may look different than mine, but you'll still be able to pretty easily find a date and time setting. Over here is your month, day, year, hours, minutes, seconds. So you'll be able to change these uh, to be accurate. If these date and time settings in BIOS are wrong, it can cause all sorts of issues um, with BIOS starting, least of all the error you're seeing. Um, so make sure those are correct. My mouse works right now, so I can just go over here and, and click into these fields and then type the proper value. If your mouse isn't functional, maybe use tab uh, to tab over. And if that doesn't work, if for whatever reason you really can't figure out how to navigate, you may be able to plug in an external USB mouse and uh, use that. But, but yeah, so change your date and time settings. Um, most likely, uh, that's why you're getting the error, is because BIOS was factory reset, and these are now wrong, so you got to go in here and, and fix this. So shut your computer down, try starting it up, you should be all set. If you have to do this every single time, it means your CMOS battery is dead or dying. And every time you turn off your computer, your BIOS is basically being reset and messing these settings up. So if that's the case, you want to swap out your CMOS battery. Um, I'll have a link below in the description showing you how to, how to generally access a CMOS battery in a Dell computer. Um, but if you're not accustomed to this, and if you're not accustomed to going in your computer, you may want to look up a specific teardown video for your specific model uh, so you know what you're getting into when you go in there. Um, but yeah, any, any questions you have, leave me a comment. I, I, I can walk you through it. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share if it stopped that error from happening. Um, and if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.